So how are we doing? Excellent. Good in the VIP section? How are we doing in the cheap seats? Excellent. Cheap seats over this side? Excellent. Fantastic. Yeah, so I'm hearing that. And I'm going to ask you a series of three questions to get started. And to each question, I need an enthusiastic response. Now, I don't know what you think an enthusiastic response is, but mine is, hand in the air, you shout out, yes, please. Is that okay? Yes, please. That wasn't actually the first question. <laughs> a bit premature there, sir. Probably no change as usual. Um, so, question number one, you want to make some more money? Yes, please. You want to be a powerful and confident negotiator? Yes, please. Do you want to walk out that door ten times more sexually attractive than when you walked in? Yes, please. Actually, you should have put your hand up. <laughs> so, we're in a good mood. Fantastic. We've not got the post. Let me show you something. When I was doing my master's in psychology, I was studying people who performed at high levels. So, I interviewed people like gold medal winning Olympic athletes, business, very successful business people, and also a fascinating guy in the special forces who you can imagine for, for specific reasons I, I can't mention. He shared this framework with me. He said success, this is, what the, the, this is a special forces framework, they said success, the winner's triangle is a combination of attitude, skills, and knowledge. I thought, I quite like that, sort of by that, I spend a bit of time working as a as a motivational speaker. Attitude, skills, knowledge, that works for me. He said, Simon, out of 100%, how much do you think success is down to attitude? Good question. How much of success out of 100% is down to attitude? Shout out, please. 90? 80? 100? Absolutely what I said. I think I said 80. He said, wrong. 50%. I said, 50? He said, yeah, what do you get if you motivate an idiot? You get a motivated idiot. Show of hands. Now, I want an honest show of hands here. Who watches The X Factor? Okay, yeah, the rest of you. Like it's the most popular program on television. No, I don't. You're lying. So, The X Factor is proof that attitude alone is not enough. Nor is, by the way, by the way, nor is delusional self-belief. Just because your mum says you're the next best thing since sliced bread, it doesn't mean you are. You need to be able to have the skills and the knowledge. Yes, attitude is still the most important thing at 50%, but skills are vitally important and the knowledge as well. So we're going to share today some of those skills, give you some of that knowledge. You combine that with the right attitude, you have got negotiation dynamite. You're really going to make a significant difference to your business. Now, so, let's look at how we can make ourselves feel more powerful. This is a framework that says our state, and state is the summary of how we are thinking and feeling, affects our performance, which affects our results. Yeah? So, you, you know the expression, he or she is in a bit of a state, it's kind of a negative. You'll notice that elite athletes, the, the weightlifters will be in one sort of state to lift the weights, and the people doing the shooting will be in another different state. You've got to be in the appropriate state of mind for the, for the, for the activity you're doing. Anyone try to do something like thread a needle when you're in a rage? <laughs> or you're, you're, trying to, you're, trying to, you're trying to turn your laptop on and it's updated the virus thing and it's taken everything. You're going, oh, it's, oh. it's not a good time, is it? So we've got to be in the appropriate state because that affects our results. Now... What I thought would be, would be quite good fun would be to do a little experiment. Now, this is, according to psychologists, the 10 most common human fears. The one that fascinates me is that speaking in front of a large group is number one and dying is number seven. <laughs> so that means when you go to a funeral, more people would rather be dead and in the coffin than giving the eulogy from the front of the, of the so that's, that's kind of crazy. But this gave me an idea. I thought, hey, large audience. What we're going to do is get a volunteer to come up on here and tell us in two minutes the key things they've learned from all the speakers so far. And then what we'll do, that's, so if you're here, you'll be sort of here. I will need a microphone in a second. Um, if you're not, your job is to mark them out of ten for passion and just amazing experience, yeah? And so 
so that's what we'll do, and we'll, we'll take a straw poll. Now, I tried this last week at a conference, and it was a complete and total failure because I didn't get a volunteer. <laughs> so, while you were having your lunch, I volunteered one of you. Now, I came in here, and I put a yellow post-it note under one of the chairs at random. I can't remember whether it's in the VIP section or the cheap seats. Have a look. Stand up under your chair. If it says it's you, please come and join me on stage. Okay, just relax. That was a joke. <laughs> That's woken you up, hasn't it? <laughs> Thank you. What I, uh, even my friend here has woken up. Great stuff. What I wanted to give you was a real life experience. And you were, you were seeing quite lively before then. So I was guessing you may be 70, 80. You're feeling pretty cool. All of a sudden you go, He's joking. He's not joking. And you go, shoom, all the way down to the bottom. You go under, you go, thank God it's not me, it's someone else. And you go shooting all the way back up to 100%. To 100%. But that I, just, I just initiated a change of your state. So that therefore says, if I can do it, you can do it, you can do it to yourself. How we change our state is...